Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Anti-Worth with me, Flake. Let's jump into a new Eden run. 155 Eden tokens, let's do it. Oh no. Oh, well we have a good trinket, we have a good space brighton, but we have magnetic tears, which is awful. Like, really, really bad. I knew we were going to have a run like this after how well the last one went. MVQ7D2ET. By all means play this one, because magnet tears is the worst. Uh, if I remember correctly, there is a glitch where if you get a battery charge, you can give yourself permanent brimstone with this space biome if you use it twice in the same room. That will not get rid of magnet tears, but it will make them a lot less worse, so I will be willing to do that on this run if the ability arises. Is our damage low? No, our damage is actually fine. Ish. Yeah, actually, no, it's better. It's slightly better. Wait, no, Isaac starts at 3.5, right? So yeah, it is below average. I was thinking, yeah, that's taking a long time to kill things. Our fire rate is only acceptable because we have the cancer trinket. If we didn't have this, it would be worse than 8, and 8 is pretty bad. On the plus side, though, it breaks the tier cap, so we have the means by which to get better. So the magnetic tiers draw enemies, although it might... It looks a bit... Uh, it looks a bit to me like... Maybe Anti-Birth toned back how magnetised enemies get. Because usually they'd be zipping all over the place, although that could be down too. Oh, wait, well, yeah, that's pretty bad. The, the lighter enemies move worse than the... Heavier. Pardon me, the heavier enemies. I guess for those cowards that just cut, spawn spiders constantly, it does draw them towards you. Get over here. Actually, I kind of want you to stay over there. Stay over there and get hit. I'll stay over here, you stay over there. You get hit and die. It isn't even that he's moving unpredictably, it's my tears are moving him unpredictably. Oh, I don't want any part of this. Man of Tears isn't just a bad item, it's a never pick up item. Or, sorry, it's not an indifferent one. It is a flat out, you will die. It's equivalent to picking up the red scarf in Gungeon. It has some funny effects, but it's not worth using. If this hits me, we are just dead, but that's fine. We can just quickly restart. I, I don't really want to do a Magnet Tears run anyway. <laughs> Red heart? I didn't think so. Oh right, yeah, we have a slow tear ring. I do like the purple beam. That's the purple beam, the grey beam. I'm too used to psychic brimstone apparently. Uh, it doesn't really help things, does it? No battery charge either. Do I really want to try and salvage this run by wasting a bomb here? I, I guess. We have plenty of money in the bank. That'll keep us alive for a little bit. If there was a battery, things could have turned around right there. At least we are getting consumables of a sort. We're getting plenty of keys and nothing else. Yeah. Screw you. Moving randomly my ass. No. Oh, he got drew in. Drew in? Drawed in? No, oh, I was right the first time. Drew in at the last second because of the tears. There's a reroll room. That's another way we can get out of this. Reroll this in a second. Yeah, the last second when they get near me, the tears draw them in that come out at point blank range, which is getting me hit. They're only affected by it, like, adversely if they're coming towards me. If they're pulling away from me, they still get away. Only I had a bomb. Apparently the game just wants to give me keys. Oh good, more little spiders. This is 
Stop getting drawn towards me. Also drop a bomb. Is this still just the first floor? It is, isn't it? Christ alive. Oh, I forgot. Pin is especially bad when you have anti-gravity. I will die in here. If I fire while he's doing a jump, we'll die. But whatever. I want to run this actually fun. Thank you for that game. Alright, let's see what we actually get here. Oh, this is more interesting. So we started with... Blood Bombs and the D8. I don't remember what the D8 does. I think that's the reroll rooms or rerolls enemies. We'll try it in a room with blocks and see what happens. Our damage is better, our speed is better. The actual seed for this run is DCYC... 1-0 VD. And we're going to have a lot more fun with this one. Although our T rate is slower. Yeah, it's reroll blocks. It's, it's not worth anything. Then we were going to have with that garbage. So, wait. Is it blood bombs we have? Yeah, I thought blood bombs also gave you some bombs. But no, it's the one where you can place a bomb even if you have none. But it uses your hearts. I don't remember if it's a full heart or a half heart, but if we're in dire need of a spirit heart at the end of this floor and we see a tinted rock, I'd go for it. Our HP started really good as well. Haven't seen the item room. Gotta remember it's not the same run because this one actually has good items. Should look into a mod that removes anti-grav. Anti-grav and guillotine. Get rid of them. Tiny Planet has potential. It, it can be bad more often than it's good, but it has those runs every so often where it's amazing. I, have, I don't have enough damage to kill spiders at point-blank range again. Although we're at 3.08, that's not terrible. Oh, just another spider, eh? Would have preferred money. Our item room is here, thankfully, so hopefully we'll have something that will improve our damage straight away. Hey, cover the damage at least. Nice. Ooh, well that means if we get hit, we get money, so that's... Wait, or is that the one that gives us more money? No, it is the one where we drop money if we get hit, I think. Kind of like the anti-greed item. That has the potential to pay off if we're getting hit a lot. This would have been perfect on the previous run, but... Oh, no keys. Well, of course, we are getting all our keys on the last run, not this one. There is no tinted rocks. Don't fuck with me, spiders. Also, spiders didn't kill me on that other run. It was anti-graph. Nothing else. Oh, it rerolled spikes, and I actually rerolled one of them into a tinted rock, so that's not too shabby. Oh, right, and putting down the bomb also gives me cash because of piggy bank. Two iPhone pills. Ooh, using it in here would be very interesting because the spikes would all become other things. We're not going to get a full charge from the boss, but hopefully there's still rooms on the floor. I was going to say, is that my blood? I think that's my blood. It is my blood. It's fine. It's too big a pile to be the Blighted Ovums. And it's lingering as well. I don't know if it's damaging him anemic style. It might be. A bunch of booster cards. The full the devil. Two of spades for keys. The hanged man. Oh, hang on. Well, we can just use the hanged man in here to save re-rolling the room. Although I'd still like to re-roll the room just to see what would happen. Oh, wow. Did we find our shop? And we'll take the devil. I want to go back. Well... That, that was obviously on purpose to get the money. Because we got the heart back anyway. 
That's not a bad room to reroll as well. This one would be intriguing. There's a lot of rooms where it'd be interesting. Broken stopwatch or none habit. Oh, we can actually afford both. Um, I will buy both. I should have bought the battery. Although, we can afford the battery. Buy the battery. And we'll hold off in case we get a spare heart. So which room do we use it in? I'm going to use it here. Um, don't breathe. Where is anything? Is there anything of interest in here? There's a rainbow poop that would only give me half a heart. Other than that, no tinted rocks. It's fun to use, don't get me wrong. Alright, let's, let's just say we had a good floor and get out of here. I don't think I've ever used the D8 effectively. What was this card again? Full out. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used the D8 effectively, and yet on this floor it got us a tinted rock. It got us some fun nonsense, so I'm kind of okay with sticking with it. Unfortunately, we got Curse of a Giant, which is never good when you don't have a lot of damage. And spiders. Too many spiders, in fact. One might say they're just giving me money. Oh, right, yeah, nuns have it, so we're going to get rerolls constantly every time I'm hit. We're in for a long haul. These rooms are going to take a long time to clear because we have no damage. I could use the devil card, but that's more important on the boss. Every time we do get hit, we're getting money, though. I'd honestly prefer damage in the form of, like, rage, but that's okay. You spawners have got to go, especially if you're cut off in a corner. Get out of my way. I'm trying to kill that... He phased through the goddamn blocks. He walked into that and died. So, did we get any tinted rocks out of this one? Oh, we got a rainbow pool. Oh, that's not too shabby. Wait, we got a... We got a crawl space where it's actually an exit to the next floor. Gotta be careful not to stand in that, because we'd definitely be screwed. Goddamn spawners are so badly made. They spawn at too quick a rate, so if you have bad damage, you either take damage or can't kill them. It'd be nice if they lost a little bit of health every time they spawned an enemy, if they kept the same spawn rate. But they should just have a smaller spawn rate, to be fair. In case you have bad damage, or just a bad fire rate. Or both, unfortunately, in the case we find ourselves. Just die. Thank you. Yeah, you can just die as well. Thanks. Get rid of you. Good job. We got a Picard. Excellent. Nine lives. Oh, shit. Yes, I spawned another devil statue. Nine lives is probably a terrible decision with our bad damage the way it is, but whatever. Oh, this is a room where I should have done it. I will, but I'm coming back. More goddamn spiders. This isn't the cellar, leave me alone. Oh, we need a bad, uh, a damage up badly, rather. You little shit. Easy enough. We actually found our boss, but we haven't found our item room yet. Let's use this in here and see what happens. Well, we got ourselves a quarter, which is pretty damn good. That one down there is just stuck. Oh, we have a tinted rock. Um, it would kill me to get this tinted rock. You know what? It's worth it. 
Oh wait, it's half a heart. Never mind. I don't know if I want to heal myself yet. There's a rainbow poop. That would heal us. Oh, there's another tinted rock though. Kill me, do it, you won't. Oh, I set it free. After 10,000 years. Oh, he's stuck again, never mind. Hmm. Do I want these now? Yes. This is a bizarre run. We still don't have an item room. I'm still I could still reroll that room again if I wanted to. It's essentially just I want tinted rocks. That's all I need. Oh crap. The bad effect of broken stopwatch kicked in. Although this music sped up is cool. So yeah, that's what happens with Broken Stopwatch. Sometimes you get a room that's double speed rather than a half speed room. Ah. That spike actually going up and down, it is. Also, whatever I changed the rest of the room in and killed or in two rather, killed all the enemies, so that's fine. Get wrecked. Item room? No, there's no item room in here. Ah, can't get to it without wasting the eternal heart. I mean, if I lose eternal heart, I'll go back. Or, you know, the holy mantle heart. Ah, oh, crap. Did the panic, panic, not spanic. Did the panic spacebar press pull off? Uh, a save there? No. I, I think it's just delayed the inevitable. Uh, maybe not. Again, to the shop, we have a lot of money. Alright, how'd I get over to you? I think he is the last. Oh, he's not the last one. He's so fast! Oi! Immolated meat sack. Get over. Oh, there's actually two more enemies. Be besides him, I mean. Uh, the red health regenerate. Uh, the red poop brother regenerated and murdered him. So that's pretty good. Regenerated, we have a key. Bum friend. <sighs> Could be better. So that is birthright. Pandora's box. While we have one HP, I should use this. Buy and use Pandora's box for another bunch of bombs and keys. And uh, we'll go down to that room that had a tinted rock, use the bombs to get to it, then re-roll the rest of the rocks and see what we get. Let me destroy this fire because I feel like I'm going to walk into it on the way back. I want the guaranteed tinted rock before I do anything else, that's why I'm doing it this way. Oh, we don't have a charge. Well, we will after the boss. Is that worth coming back for? Probably not, but it's fun, so I want it. Because I don't think this run has the legs to get anywhere, but I'm enjoying the space bar item synergy. So, oh god, they're moving. Be careful going back that way. You would open with that attack, wouldn't you? Whistle. Thank you. I want 
can't I deal with the devil? He would have to hit me a lot for that not to be a thing that's about to happen, but... Whatever, we'll see. Because we want a one heart guppy. Oh, right. This was the one where we got it. A trip. Nice. Range up. Luck down. Although it wasn't a full one, so it didn't give us it. How many rocks are in this room? Ah, uh, we'll just do it in here. See what we get. Some dynamite, some red fire. Some poop, of course. We've had no statistical increases on two floors. Other than the pill we just took there. Okay. Yeah, we're... As it stands, we're definitely not winning this run, but I want to stay alive long enough, and ideally not painfully, or not too painfully, just to see what else we can do with the D8. Poke your frickin' head up. Oh boy, doing no damage to be floors deep is sure fun. Sometimes not firing is the best bet. I also have to decide whether or not I'm letting Bumfriend get any of the money or if I'm still taking it. He'll take some that I can't get to, obviously. Could pay it with keys and bombs, I guess. One at the front just will not die. There we go. Oh. He exploded but was still alive. Did he fly over that too high block? Why can't I fly over too high blocks? Use the good range to your advantage, I guess. Good item? Oh, son of a bitch. We're having no luck. I knew this was going to happen, but not two runs in a row. Meh. Uh. Oh, we have a tilted rock. Worth it. Oh, we have a battery as well. Hmm. I believe the red paste gives you like a damage up, but it constantly drains. We need more big rooms with lots of blocks in them. Touch that fire, you know you want it. It's got candy. Burning, burning, burn him candy. Oh, the spirit heart is appreciated. We've had, right, we've had our shop. There was no special room where we started. Well, at least not directly connected, rather. Oh, I guess we've got to go for it. It's Chad, so we're getting a set drop. And it's not a statistical increase. So we know that's going to be good. And we're not likely to get a deal with the devil because we had one on the last floor. He's also spawning too quickly for my kill speed currently. Which is sad because Chad is actually very easy. One of the easiest draws for the floor. Usually. Oh hey, that actually helps. The two on command helped. Wait, no, sorry, it's not two on command, it's two when attacked. So who refers to farting as tooting? Must be an American thing. Actually no, it might be an English thing. In Scotland, we call it the soul of our food escaping. 
Not to be confused with soul food, obviously, because that'd be ridiculous. There's about a 41% chance we didn't get a deal with the devil. It wasn't in our favour, obviously. Uh, no increases. Again, then we go. I'm glad that Isaac has no toilet paper. Maybe that will teach him a lesson. Do you know either of those pills? I don't recall. Oh wow! <laughs> I think Maya just heard dog or saw a dog she doesn't like. That was a that was a definite. I don't like you, dog. Bark. That kind. So once we get a charge, I'm gonna try this. Oh wait. Uh, I, I shouldn't in case I need these spirit hearts to maintain deal with the devil. I'm definitely going to convert this room because it will convert the spikes. It won't necessarily convert them all, but it will convert a lot of them. Nice. Okay, so we've got some dynamite, we've got some fire. actually good that can potentially or it sometimes does give us a damage up. Fun friend you stole my goddamn penny there didn't you? Oh Liberty Cap gave us this effect so our shop and item room are together down the way we have to go all the way up for the boss though so annoyingly we're essentially going to do a full clear here. I would have loved to have a charge for this room because this room is wait this is a version of this room with spikes that's even worse. At least I got slowed down I suppose. Still bad though. I'm not playing the spike game. Don't worry, the champion will die eventually. The extra spikes being in here is actually a benefit. I kind of wish that bomb didn't spawn though. The more blocks, the better. Got range up for this one. Oh, thank you, Liberty Cap. I'd prefer if he just kept on giving me the damage up, though. Alright, good. Champion's belt, I guess, in the shop, just for a damage up and, uh, and all stats up in the item room. That might save us. Sacrificial dagger. That's what I confused ceremonial robes with last run. It's good if we could find temporary invincibility. Blue map or tarot cards? Well, we're sticking with our flavor spacebar items, so I'll take blue map to know where the secret rooms are, I guess, and we'll take the bomb to get into one. Maybe should have taken this. Oh, the second secret room is here? Bizarre. No. So no bombs left. The. This could be the way that leads round to the boss, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Damn it. I had damage up for going back in that room. Sacrificial Dagger is my main source of damage dealing now. Which means walking very, very close to enemies, sadly. But it does great damage. And we don't. Where can I use this charge? Oh, we've got a big room coming up. Or in here. Let's do it in here. Uh, didn't really get anything there. This is going to create a little bit of a mess now, isn't it? I like it. I hate these walking faces, but thank you, Sacrificial Dagger, for taking out the champions. Don't stand near the psychic fire. Also, I assume there's money in the floor. What is that? 
I don't actually know what that, I assume, trinket is that Bomb Friend just paid out with. My money, Bomb Friend. Devil's Crown, his special customer. Mm, maybe guarantees deal with the devils? If I had to guess. You little shit. Sadly, no tinted rocks. I guess we know the boss is up here. Do we hold on to this? It might also... Oh, Christ. It might also reduce the cost. This is this room where you take damage if you enter from a certain room all the time. Let me finish a thought. It might be like Judas's tongue, but better. Uh, that was my thought on this trick. Judas's tongue makes devil deals cheaper. This might, like, buy one, get one free or something, the devil deals. I don't know. The boss is right here. If it doesn't seem to do anything once we kill the boss, I'll go back for Liberty Cap, because at least that gives us damage ever so often. I don't like the slow death as well making his way towards me. I do like that this room is slowed down though because it makes it manageable. Normal speed or double speed? This would be hell. No. Oh. If only we had Dark Bum. Then little Chad is amazing. We just feed each other basically. Fallen? No, oh, maybe it guarantees a Fallen appearance, I don't know. The Fallen is a bad draw when you have no damage. I tried to get as much dagger action there as possible. I think it kind of worked out. Don't take my heart, you dick. Sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, that seems to do anything. Little Brimstone is now our damage dealer. But I'm going back for Liberty Cap so we can at least occasionally get other statistics. Don't know what the crown does. Maybe it guarantees the Fallen, like I said, for any non set boss. Did you see this pill before? It's a full health pill, that's funny. Burnt Penny. Nah. Oh, I skipped the secret room, didn't I? It could have raw liver in it. That would actually be run changing, although we'd still be super, super weak. I will murder you. R. The letter R. Time to start over. This is going to give me another run. Oh, you go back to basement one, but you still have everything. Well, hey, back on basement one, we're actually strong. So maybe I can use this to actually get genuinely powerful. And you might be thinking it's going to take a while to to finish this run now, but honestly, if we actually get powerful properly now, we can get back to where we were in less than half the time, because we were just, we weren't powerful. There was nothing. Shame that we lost our D8. I was enjoying that. That's okay. We kept everything else. Telephones ain't so bad. I can see forever ain't so bad. Bad trip is bad. Shall speed down? Nah. <laughs> yeah, that noise. <laughs> Lemon party is good. I'm getting to the curse room without needing to waste a heart. And now we actually have a good run going for the, the dumbest of reasons, but I like it. We have everywhere to go. The Ouija board I picked up gives you spectral tears, so your shots go over rocks. I forgot to go over that. I don't think I picked it up in anti-birth yet. 
Although even if I have, I'm still trying to get in the habit of occasionally explaining what things do because I've been requested. And the parasite is fine. Again, not a damage up. But it splits our so shots when it hits things. Although actually, given that we have spectral, maybe that won't do as much. Oh wow, I can double up nothing. Actually, let's just, sure. Thanks, bum friend. It's kind of ironic that bum friend gave me a two of diamonds card that has no use because I have bum friend and therefore have no money. Did we? Go we didn't go down to that mini boss, did we? I would love small rock. That would speed things back up. Come at me, sloth. On this floor, I am powerful. And you are weak. Justice will just use dime. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, it's just like a really good... Oh, Christ. Eden start. We have enough money to buy a 15 cent item, so why not go to the shop? Battery or map? We will buy map. Because that will help us speed up and get back to where we were. This is technically three runs in the same video now, but one is me still being the same. It's a little confusing. I will take this as well. Because we have plenty of keys. My money, my money. Oh shit, I saw you going for it. My money, shit! Yo, oh, he's going for the he's going for the Lord Denomination coins. Get get the Oh oh look at you, all unhappy. Thank you for the hangman card, though I appreciate that. We'll take that after we kill Oh, that doesn't do anything to you. Never mind. There's a tenant rock in here. I will probably take the damage in order to crack it open because I want damage. I want small rock. Cube meat is a fine orbital. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I can hurt myself and give him money that way. Alright, we've got a lot of space to make back here, so let's just go get our deal with the devil on this floor. We have 2 HP because we've got an eternal heart, right? Or am I, am I having a stroke? <laughs> I thought I had an eternal heart. Wow, no, that is good. Perfect room to get slowed down. Let's kick the crap out of it. Ooh. That is actually better to hold on to. It's the bad space for him. Better hold on to than the than just use it because we're almost guaranteed. In fact, we, let's just say we are guaranteed to deal with the devil on this floor. So therefore, using a boss key, using a Joker card, we might as well save it for a floor where we have no percentage chance of getting to deal with the devil, and then get ourselves a an extra one. Essentially, we want that bomb. I don't think if you have only spirit hearts you can use blood bombs, because I don't think it takes spirit hearts, it's only red hearts, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to find out in case it impacts our deal with the devil chance. Uh, there's a tent rock in here. I could get the hind man card, but I don't have a bomb to get it. Oh, it's, it's next to dynamite, what am I talking about? So, Monster Manual spawns a random familiar to help you for the room to use it in. It's not that great. We actually got a little hot though, which isn't terrible. We had him on the, the last video run, not the last run we did. Who is still alive? Oh! <laughs> Surfing spider bullshit. We did get a bomb. So, let's... Well, where do I want to use the bomb? I don't want to use it in the one with the TNT, because obviously I can just get it with the TNT. Actually, do I even need to use the high man card? Because I forgot I have Spectrum. Come to me. Oh. In case of a crawl space. Mm, Alright. I guess I'll just use it in there to get that chest, or I could go into the secret room with it, can I? Or did I already? No, I already went in the secret room. Second seat, nah, we'll just go for the chest. I, am, I feel like I'm forgetting a tenant rock or something beyond the one we saw, but it's fine. Hmm. It's tedious, but the lemon party pill, it has a use against the boss, hopefully. Don't 
forget the Joker card. Don't forget the Joker card. Oh, it's another boss that flies, so never mind. No, it doesn't have any use. Take that. Where's the ghost that's alive? Oh, there he is. Come at me, haunt. Speed and damage is what we are wanting, and it's Krampus, unfortunately. It's a sped up, it feels like I'm suddenly moving a lot. Oh, I gotta speed up, so I guess that's what's doing it. Well, we're only at 1.78, it's not super fast. And that is better than Monster Manual, so we'll take it. It's also a means by which to essentially one shot some, some bosses. I told you we'd speed up. After this floor, we're speeding up. Get the hell out of here. So how do I feel about the R key? It's, it's essentially the clone item from Gungeon. That's not a bad thing. It, it very evidently can turn a shitty run into an amazing run. This run now has the legs to be very, very powerful. All we needed to do was start over after clearing, well, badly clearing three or four floors with nothing. Except the D8 and a pocket full of dreams. I should have looked in there because it was red chess. Little Brimstone and our Sacrificial Dagger plus Cube of Meat are still our primary damage dealers. They do a lot more damage than me. I've got the advantage of being able to shoot through rocks. But they still do more than me. I need that bomb, thank you very much. If we only get one bomb, do you think I should hold on to it for a tinted rock? Or go into one of the secret rooms? I'm not sure. Anyway, item room for this floor. Is another syringe and it's poison touch again. I say again because we got it on the last video. Didn't actually mean to touch the spike, but it got the job done, so who cares? Hmm. We could actually save a key by going into the secret room. Not that we have a problem with keys right now. BFF. Red Candle is good, but BFF makes all my followers huge. They swole up, essentially. And I like that. Might make Little Brimstone a bit easier to aim, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, second secret, second secret rooms are in such bizarre places. <laughs> There's plus one HP. That I want to get rid of on a deal with the devil that if we don't get, we'll be forcing ourselves to get via the Joker card. All stats up, deal with the devil. Ah, that sort of Damocles we had on the previous run, I don't know what it did. We're going to take Eye of the Cult, Occult for damage and range, etc. Shot speed down. It don't matter. Let's go. None of this matters. Sorry, I was accidentally quoting Carl from Aquitaine Hunger Force. It don't matter. That's because I saw a, a tweet where someone had made him using a me, like you know the, the Nintendo thing, and they just written that over the top of it, and I I laughed. It was funny. So we also have psychic shots. I'm noticing. Oh, what the hell? What is making that do that? I don't I don't know, but I like it. I I guess I missed part of what Eye of the Occult does. Thank you, Cube of Meat, for blocking that instead. It's obviously it's a it's Eye of the Occult mixing with Parasite. That's what's doing it, but I don't know why it's doing it. No, I don't want to take missing though. That rerolls are run every floor. I would have. Believe me, I would have, but oh right, I can control my tears. But now that I've seen this effect, hell no, this is too good. 
Look at this. And because it's psychic, it's going over rocks. All right, this this became very very good. We're gonna have to go back if I want my item room. It's gonna be bottom corner. I just I have like a, a swarm of tears that I can just. It's almost like tiny planet, but so much stronger. Holy hell! I I am enjoying this run a lot more now. We'll clear our way to the boss. I have to hit enemies, otherwise it doesn't split though, I think. I oh, can see that you're still alive. Nice. And there's the boss. Uh, we'll just go for the boss since we're here, but I'm not done on the floor yet. Alright, regeneration plus HP up, which we'll immediately get rid of for Oculus Rift. So now this torrent of tears will occasionally open up black holes and do mini Zarya ults. This run has just gotten even better. I do want to get the item room just because now I want to see how strong we can get, because why the hell not? Obviously our HP isn't fantastic and we still have to... Did that spawn at the end of the room? We still have to worry about our HP and the fact that if we do have to respawn, we're going to respawn on one red heart. Damage wise, we're sorted though. 10 damage with this going on. Hot bombs. I'll take it just for the bombs. Not that I can reroll it anyway. Sure. Just to keep us alive. Um, Second secret room. Sure, why not? Secret rooms have been very kind to us. This one has not been, but in general they have. Alright, we're done on this floor. I uh, sure I'll put you I was gonna say put you out of your misery, and yes, I will. You're dead to me. Mine. Not yours. Mine. Been hanging on to this bad trip fill for a while and there's really no use for it. Except to remind me which colour is bad trip, I suppose. Right, there we go. So we're past where I was when we did the run reset, right? We're at 50 minutes though. Okay, there is a curse room, but let's just head straight for item room and boss. I think the black holes increase, or have an increased chance of appearing. Holy balls. If I have, if I have higher luck. So if we were to find luck up, that'd be handy. Sure, I'll skip one room at the cost of the bomb. Oh my... When the black hole triggers on the little parasite part, it triggers on every part of the shot. I think. Sure. We can see secret rooms. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, you're dead. Or two cube of meat. That was a quick floor. Alright, we need to wait for the compass effect to kick in to know for sure which direction we're going, but other than that, it should be fine. We just create this torrent and then do that! So we do still create the big black holes if a full tier hits an enemy. It's just if the little parasite shot hits someone, it creates the the bizarre like luck down. It's the opposite of what I want. The bizarre mini explosion of black holes, which is great. Probably the most fun bizarre synergy I've had that needs anti-birth items to be possible. Sending out my tears to do my bidding. Yeah, but bum friend, you can have that one. I'm feeling generous now. You give me a bomb. That was nice of him. Oh, black holes, black holes. Steam sale was a little 
late to be super useful, but that's okay. Get black hold. No, I needed that key. Well, uh, I don't need it that much. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. You've got a little death beam. I've got a black hole creating spam attack. They actually do have a gravity effect to them as well. Two lockdowns, shot speed down, I found pills, and a telephone. Didn't I have PhD on this run? I really would like those bombs, but not at the cost of two keys. Ooh, will size ruin this or make it better? Let's find out. I think it's made it better. Psychic size that break into little size that break into miniature black holes. And it technically only costs us two because we've got a spirit heart back. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I sh again, I should look at there, really. Ah, it still does break into smaller bullets then, once it's just the initial shot. Oh, lucky. Poor, poor lucky. That's a big bunch of black holes you've got there. Wasn't technically worth clearing, but... Oh yeah, he should definitely get all the money now. Yeah, I should aim my tears for walls, because that's what splits it into the smallest section. Yeah, that's what does it. There's a tinted rock there, small rock. Oh, okay, well we need the hearts anyway. Ooh, what will this do with this effect? Uh, this is either going to be absolutely amazing or very, very disappointingly underwhelming. No, it's pretty good. I can actually control it. I think I could control that. We'll try it in the next room. Yeah, I can control that. Yep. Alright. Best run I've ever had of this game. For sure. I just want rid of the death guard. Can you just... Yeah. Maybe we'll finally find a boss that can get hurt by Lemon Party. <laughs> Yeah, land on me. Try it. Oh, whoops. Oh, invincibility. Yes, I am taking all that money that should be going to bum friend. What of it? Three troll bombs. Fire once. Fire once. Lock down. Bad trip. Range up. How about that? PhD gave us one positive pill. Hello, death. Thank you for giving me tier three cube of meat, I guess. Although tier four is better. There we go. At least he'll walk around to do his own thing now. Gotta be top right. Gotta be. I want to see it break into a bunch of tiny black holes, so I guess I should force the Tammy's headshot into the wall. Yeah, kind of like that, but more. I want more. <laughs> oh, it was a curse room. Oh, um, hmm. I don't think it'll be bottom right. Although that's where the second secret room is, so maybe. Oh, here it is, yeah. Um... I know we're not going to get Polaroid Invincibility now, but whatever. Okay. 
<laughs> Guppy's paw. Um, we only had nine lives, didn't we? So, nah, it's, it's, we don't need it. Oh, well, I technically did need it on the next floor, but that would mean getting rid of Tammy's head, and there's no way in hell you could convince me to do that. And Isaac is at the very top. We can cut through the secret room at least to save ourselves a bit of... <laughs> save ourselves a bit of trouble. Oh, let Bump Friend have all that money, damn it. I, I am under the impression that some of these rooms do actually have enemies. Oh, we can't get a deal with the devil on this floor, so... Uh, I guess I could kill him. Or rather, play him. Red chest? Look at all the black holes. Look at them with your eyes. Oh, up there! It's like a Power Rangers monster. I got there. Poor Isaac. Oh hey, there's confirmation. You hide down the way. Eh, uh, sorry, you hide up the way. And here we are, still under an hour, barely. Oh, three dollar bill could mess this up or again make it really good. Let's find out. Two dollar bill is random tier effects. Oh, let bomb friend have the damn thing. Again, sure, we'll take it because we already have a red heart. Rubber cement. Um, hmm. Well, it's going to block shots now, if nothing else. So I had three luck at the end of the last video and didn't get a single goddamn chest in the chest. I have zero luck. And I think I had a lot down, it just didn't round up. And I'm getting ridiculous items. So what do? I knew this wasn't the right way, I just wanted to clear it because we can. Really fun run in the end. It was worth sticking with the horribleness and getting past that god awful magnetized tier one. Oh, is the boss in the other direction? Who cares? That was a very fun run in the end and we still came in under the hour. I hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a like and continue to support the series if you want to see more and I will hopefully see you next time. Ta-da for now.